So today is Saturday, March 28th. The day after transplant. Here, scuff it on the wall. That's not all of them, but. Um, pretty much just woke up. Me and Zach have kind of been sleeping all day. He just likes to take naps. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think it really bothers him that I'm um, so much knocked out on drugs that he can just take a nap. And I feel this is probably the best I've felt so far. Except that my throat hurts. Which they give me morphine for that. Which sounds like morphine for your throat hurting. But that's in combination with mouth sores that you can get from chemo. And also I, I bit my tongue. I tried to show you it. I don't think you could see. But, um my throat has been hurting and my stomach hurts not right now because I'm on morphine I think but sometimes it'll just randomly start hurting like a really bad cramp or something and, and I know it's like my actual stomach where or where the food goes after I swallow it like because I've been so hungry probably and, t and sad that I only give it like Advil and a little bit of water and I try to give it a little bit but the past couple of days I just threw it back up so it's sad but now they're giving me nutrition through the IV and that helps my mind to be put at ease a lot because I was like not wanting anything to do with food didn't want to think about it didn't want to need it so, going to sleep, I would try to do that instead of be miserably starving. So, um, I lost about 10 pounds on that, or before that. But now, they're giving me electrolytes and lipids. I guess is what they're calling the nutrition. I'm wondering where those lipids came from and stuff, you know, like, like, uh, I still want to be healthy, whatever. Um, I asked my mom to bring me some fresh fruits and yogurts to give me back from, like, probiotics and stuff, because I'm on all these antibacterial stuff and um but I can't have berries so I asked her for bananas cuties and kiwis I love those um <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> this, um, the preservative they put in my stem cell bag makes me smell like, what is it? Like a freshly opened can of SpaghettiOs or cream corn. <laughs> and I don't smell it. And they said I probably wouldn't smell it. But he smells it and he does not let that hinder our closeness <laughs> cause he's the baby he's awesome mm -hmm. um,
So, um, since my throat has been hurting and stuff, um, I've been like, co like coughing and spitting out all the phlegm because my mucus is so thick. And they told me that that can make me nauseous if I swallow it. So I've been spitting it out. And they gave me this thing, like how they use at the dentist to, to suck out like the your spit. They have one of those and they put it in my bed so I can use it when I want. And a lot of blood has been coming out in it. And like when I spit in the cups, it's bloody. And I don't know if that is, is from a mouth sore that is trying to clot and I'm like sucking the clot off of it or I don't know what it's from and it, it kind of is a cause for concern I think um don't know where it is or where it's coming from but so you guys can pray for that if you don't mind um Also, my nose is stuffy, and it's not running. If it was running, then the doctors said that it could be like a virus, and they would have to stick a really long Q-tip all the way up till it like almost touches your brain. It feels like those suck. But um, I told him it's not running, so he's not gonna do that. Thank God, I hate those. Not today. Yeah, not today. Not, Mom. not until it starts running. If it just doesn't get better, I guess. Maybe, but he said he said he would see you tomorrow. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, pray that he doesn't have to do that. Um, it hurts when I swallow. It feels like there's a lump. Well, yesterday, I was able to eat a piece of bacon and drink a little bit of boost, and I kept it down, and that was awesome. And because earlier that day, I drank a little bit of boost and took some pills, and I threw that up, but um. Yeah, so I feel like I can, I can probably start eating a little bit of foods, and they said that could help reduce mucositis by just keeping something going, like a little sip every now and then, a little nibble every now and then, can help. You you can get those mouth sores from your mouth to your butthole, and everywhere in between, and I I don't want to experience that. So getting the nausea under control is like the biggest deal. Which right now I'm not nauseous. Which is awesome. Um, and I'm, I'm sitting on the couch today. Which yesterday made me feel so sick. And like they want me to do this to, so that I don't like lose all my muscles. But it feels kind of good, like, to use my muscles and not just lay in bed and not use any muscles. But it feels good. And, and my doctors didn't even ask me to do it today. They are going to be happy. sister made this she, she was this is her interpretation of something that my cousin Jenna did on the wall which was that and then he did those flowers and the ferns the bones my mom did my name and Sarah did me and Zach this coloring book that I 
I did this. And, and you can make, you can do the window art off of some of these things too, which is cute. So now we wait. Wait for my marrow to start producing its own stuff again. For my counts to come up. Please pray for my health, the rapid growth of good cells, and yeah, I'd love to get out of here around my birthday. <laughs> Alright, this is today's update, thanks for watching.